Hello all head addicts of all various colours and shapes and it is here that I once more want to talk with you about all heads. Yes, I made that joke. Well, anyhow, today is a lovely, lovely sunny day. The temperatures are actually around 9 degrees, so it's really enjoyable to be outside. It's quite exciting for me. It does really seem that winter will not be arriving this year, even though it's still theoretically winter. I guess it didn't muster enough strength to actually get out of the bed this year, so to say. Uh, which even I was able to do, even taking into account that I am sleeping quite consistently 12 hours a day, which is dumb and a waste of time in my opinion, but yeah. Well, in any case, uh, this time around I wanted to talk with you about catecetum orchids, and I wanted to show you my spring preparations for them, specifically uh, dividing to promote more growth so you essentially get multiple plants out of one and that is easily doable for catacetum type orchids in general and uh, yeah it will include like unporting dividing and basically storing them until the roots on the new growths come out on a sufficient length to for them to actually be ported up you know and uh, the thing is, like, right now is like the 16th of February, right after the Valentine's Day. I was actually laughing because my father got a orchid to my mother. And it's ridiculously overpriced considering it's just a bloody dyed phalaenopsis with white flowers originally. But yeah, I mean, okay, that's be his thing. I wouldn't have done that. But like, fine, fine, okay, okay, I'm not gonna be a, a jerk. <laughs> too much here too much a little jerk is just my alley i suppose like brutal honesty and all that stuff yay uh yeah uh, and um, the plans around uh, this time of the year basically are the time to sow some seeds is really coming in close the plans this time around are not going to be extravagantly ambitious, but I do need to plant some melons. I want those this year. Uh, pansies. Love pansies. Like, my grandfather inspired me to grow them, so I will. I adore them. I must have them, uh, you know. And... Uh, what else? What else? What else? Tobacco. My father wants tobacco of his own, so we need to make that happen. And considering the growing season in Latvia is, a, you know, five months or something, tobacco really needs to be planted early, considering there are those absolutely tiny, viney seedlings. And... Uh, yeah, what else? Uh, you can expect a lot of unporting and reporting and all that jazz videos of orchids uh, around this time because I have a hell of a lot who need to be reported because the moss is completely decomposed. Uh, my Cymbidium orchid is coming on really nicely, so I think it will be a really nice report coming for that. People seem to be interested in it. Mine is not so pot bound, so it will not be such a tragic, dramatical case. Uh, so, yeah, I also want want to make uh, expeditions in the nature, those will come on soon. I want to talk about like the actual countries, like native flora and all that stuff. So I think uh, we have a lot of things to look uh, forward to if I actually keep on top of my game and make videos on a weekly basis. So yeah, thanks for tuning in and let's uh, proceed on, shall we? Along this path, yes, this is the path to better quality videos <laughs> yay all right i'm back a couple of days later i'm finally ready to make stuff happen it looks like this video is actually going to be like a weekly follow-up which is really lovely what a surprise i wanted to show you one of my favorite house plans this is my cockatiel yeah He's, he's resting right now, it's late evening, uh, but he's a sweetie, even though he doesn't want to be held in hands. He recently got really sick, so he has been moved up to recover. His name is Strasts, meaning Sternus, you know, and uh, yeah, he's really been giving me a couple of some headaches because like, a, a year ago, my other cockatiel died. Uh, 
and uh, then my dog had a kidney failure and now this monstrosity had an internal bleeding so yeah my life just just really likes to rub it in i'm de going through a rough phase in my life and now this bollocks happens so Ugh. anyhow frustrations aside let's do some orchids okay my surgery surgery light and here we have the object of these days investigation this is my Cygnodes mind light my pride and joy this is the first orchid I myself ordered and it comes from orchid garden in Poland and what we want to do today is unpot this plant and divide it because there are three big two big pseudobulbs so we're gonna get those whoopsie daisy we want to get those separated and so we could have multiple plants going on because the bigger one the recent growth is already putting on its new growth and the situation seems quite complex. We even have an older division and the older pseudobulb is dying off. This is natural, this is not rot. You know, you can see it's just drying up and yellowing. Uh, I watched some of Stephen Van Kampen Lewis's videos and he does talk about uh, Oh, some sticky sap. Uh, some, you know, catacetum type orchids, uh, you know, drying up the all the pseudobulbs and you can actually see the place where it was divided from this growth this is the oldest growth so let's get it out of the pot now it's a bit stuck there because of the roots okay i'm a bit rough because uh, the sphagnum moss is completely dry that means it doesn't really want to let go of the plant's roots you know if you're reporting stuff from sphagnum moss or into sphagnum moss make sure it's uh, wet you know moist so you can actually work with it because it's really crusty when it's you know dry so this is the new plant i am not going to be doing anything with it i'm just going to leave it like this it's almost fully into its dormancy and i'm going to hope that it will create a new plantlet and continue growing on from this small new growth uh, it didn't have a lot of time to develop last year but maybe it will survive but i'm not a hundred percent sure about that okay that side um okay now this one the big fellow we want to unport it and uh, divide it and uh, the thing is catacetum orchids don't really keep their roots for many seasons so it's more or less a safe choice to get rid of the old roots now working with a single arm as i don't have a tripod is a bit hard so i'm gonna get it out and show you what's going on all right look at what we have going on over here this new growth actually surprised me and it's already pushing out its roots really nicely i damaged them a little bit but yeah i mean it's going on full force like go horsey damn you so i'm gonna get rid of more of this sphagnum moss it's completely dry you can see uh, this all of these roots were grown in a single growth season so you can see these are quite vicious orchids they will eat your pot you know so yeah and sphagnum moss decomposes fast you can see this is still looking all right it's not compacted you could use it for a second year but these roots are let's check on them yeah. what's going on I mean, yeah, they're dried up, but they're not completely dead, but they're dry. I mean, no, it has firmness, so it's still alive, but they won't be surviving, you know. So best just get them off, you know, and look at the vigorousness on that. It will quickly remake a new root system, so you really don't have to be afraid of that. I'm gonna remove the, uh, most of this moss and then show you how I cut off and divide the plant, you know. There we have it, a big ball of moss. 
and here's the plant itself uh, you can see I cut off the roots that we don't need them you know I'm gonna probably leave a few just for like anchoring of the plant doesn't really need them I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I mean you can cut these off all of them easily I mean, there are no growth tips in this old mass and you can see uh, this is the old growth it already had its roots removed so yeah I did damage one of the new roots yeah you can see here that's a bad but I mean it has many so I don't know how I'm going to be showing you how I divide it I mean it's really easy I mean you can see it's flexible so you basically just snap them apart you know like they're connected by a rhizome in between these soda bulbs somewhere up in here somewhere up in the in the in, in between the legs <laughs> so you know Maybe I can. I really need a tripod. All the fancy young people have it these days. But look, I have my own legs. Wow, look at me. Sophisticated technology. Right, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna seem very wreckful, I suppose. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it doesn't really want to come apart. Do we need to cut it? Oh my god, don't break off the new growth, Leonard. I, I recently saw a Netflix trailer of a, like a movie where there was a guy who was Leonard and his girlfriend was calling after him like panically. Found it pretty funny. Okay, can we divide this bastard? Hope that you can see. Oh god, that looks bad. No, 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 no. Twist. Oh god, we've taken out a chunk of the pseudobob. Oh, look at me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh god. Oh, panic. Uh, amateur fucking, uh, sorry. Amateur orchid growers over here. I mean, I might seem like I'm hype and happy, but I'm actually not, and I'm a bit... bit pissed off all the time you know I'm really irritable right now so like I'm prone to flares of anger at this period of my life I'm not a violent person at all but still don't pull the lion by its whiskers so here we have the old growth it's the shriveled up pickle oh my god and we have a new one here an alien plant okay my legs are getting tired Ugh. okay okay what I'm going to be doing here is probably just gonna remove the old roots so they wouldn't tangle with the new ones and just you know show you what's going on from there is this new root if damaged don't be damaged looks fine don't you go crazy on me all right, one bloody path later and we finally have everything as it should be. It's really not that hard of a job. Here we have the main growth. You can see it's a delicious cucumber now. Wouldn't recommend slicing it and putting it in a salad, but yeah, it's firm, it's nice, it's quirky, you know. I removed all the previous old roots from here, and these are the new roots with the new growth. I took off the old sheaths from this one too, because I quite frankly like my orchids looking as clean and neat as possible. And also sheaths are ideal hidey holes from all kinds of nyesikomi. <laughs> Or bugs, you know, and uh, basically speaking, I will leave these orchids like just standing somewhere. These roots will grow like three times longer than I will pot it up, you know, I suppose. Because right now they're not 
active, they won't grow, they won't function, you know. And I've heard from peeps that, you know, if you uh, give orchid catacetum orchids water way too fast, they might rot. Just because I sound like a clever bastard doesn't mean I'm that experienced, you know. And here we have the previous year's growth, you know, it's nice shriveled up potato. Could still be useful for the soup. You can see it's old root ball is here. My camera does not want to focus. Well then. I, 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 no, no, no. I'm gonna use my nose. Uh-huh. My nose work. Uh, so here you can see there's a bit of an open wound in the pseudobulb. This is where it was attached to the new big pseudobulb. So it got a bit of a chum crypt out. You can apply some cinnamon to this to dry it out or just leave it. You know, I'm going to leave this pseudobulb back until it like sprouts a new growth from some of its dormant eyes. Like it has an eye here. That's an eye. Basically speaking, a growth bud. It has an eye here, you know. Some Maria, she, you know, took her cucumber orchid and he, she sliced it apart and it germinated, you know, all kinds of new growths from each of the nodes. This node is swelled up. It wanted to become a flower spike, but it didn't have enough willpower to get itself out to bed, you know. So just, you know, didn't do anything. It tried, but you know, didn't succeed. Trying is not good enough, you need to actually do. So yeah, this will dry off, hopefully make a new growth, then maybe I can give one of the divisions to Tom, my best friend, I promised him like two years ago. Then I could put one of the divisions on a tree, because that's the thing I'm going to be doing this year. XO XO. So here is the small little pseudobulb with its new growth. I also peeled it. You can see it has a bit of a sheath still remaining. I am quite sure it's a, it's a new growth in hiding. What's that? Yeah, that little thing is also a sheath, you know. It, it should sprout a new growth, you know. Yeah. I cut its little roots off there. You can see that was still viable because then the contents are purely green. Also, sorry if my nails are making giving you the heebie-jeebie-deebies. Don't challenge me, I might poke your eyes out. But they're really good for removing sheaths, so ha. Huh. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Do I have a, you know, thing to say bye? I don't know. Uh, Astrid! continuous has started making new videos so that's really exciting so yeah in any case give me the thumb if you like this video and stay tuned for you know future updates on how these cucumber heads will continue growing up <laughs>